Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will explore the solution of the equation that is 222 raised to the power of 3x plus 222 raised to the power of x that is equal to 222. Here x are real numbers. We need to find x value. This equation involves exponential powers and requires a clever approach to solve. Before start the solution, please pause the video, try yourself, then watch my solution. Let's start by substituting a equal to 222 raised to the power of x. Then our equation turns into a raised to the power of 3 plus a that is equal to 222. This we can write it as a raised to the power of 3 plus a minus 222 that is equal to 0. This a we can write it as 37 times a minus 36 times a. So if we do subtract these two, we will get a only minus 222 that is equal to 0. Now try to find the factors of this 222. 222 if you do by 2, we will get 1, 1, 1. Again if you do by 3, you will get 37. So 37 is a prime number. So 222 factors are 2 times 3 times 37. We can write this 6 times 37. 222 we can write as 6 times 37. Here a cube here a. So now a take it as common then you are left with a square minus 36. In these two terms 37 37 is common. 37 take it as common then you are left with a minus 6 that is equal to 0. Here we have 36. The 36 we can write it as 6 square. So now it is in the form of a square minus b square. The formula is a plus b times a minus b. So we can write this as a plus 6 a minus 6 plus this term is 37 times a minus 6 that is equal to 0. Now we have a minus 6 a minus 6 as common. So take it take it as common. So you are left with a times a plus 6 that is a square plus 6a then here a minus 6 take it as common you are left with 37 so this we can write it as a minus 6 equal to 0 then a square plus 6a plus 37 equal to 0 so we got two equations first we find the roots of this second equation the first we have to find discriminant the formula b square minus 4ac here a value is 1 b value is 6 c value is 37 let's substitute b square means 6 square that is 36 minus 4 times a value is 1 c value is 37 so this is 36 minus 37 times 4 is 148 after subtracting we will get minus 112 so it is a negative value that means discriminant is negative less than 0 will get imaginary roots but in the original equation they are saying x are real numbers that's why this case is not considered the second equation has imaginary roots so we focus on the first equation that is a minus 6 equal to 0 here we will get a equal to 6 we assume a equal to 222 raised to the power of x substitute this a equal to 6 in this equation now take logarithm on both sides LHS it is in the form of log a power m. You can write this m times log a. That is x times log 222. That is equal to log 6. So x equal to log 6 by log 222. Now we need to find this value. In one of my previous videos I explained about how to find log values from 1 to 10 without using any calculator. If you want to watch this video, please watch. So the log value is 0 0.7781. We know this. We need to find log 222 value. Let's find out log 
222 value without calculator. We know that 222 factors are 6 times 37. So instead of 222, we can write 6 times 37. So the it is in the form of log a b. We can write as log a plus log b. That is log 6 plus log 37. This log 37, we can write it as 36 plus 1. Isn't it? Now it is in the form of log a plus b. We can write as log a plus b. The formula is log a plus log b. Log a plus b, we can write it as log a plus log b. We know that log 1 value is 0. So this becomes 0. This 36, we can write it as 6 square. So now it is in the form of log a power m. The formula is m log a. So that means whatever we have in the power, it comes front. So that is 2 log 6. So this is 2 log 6, this is 1 log 6. If we add, we will get 3 log 6. So log 222, the value is 3 log 6. You substitute this. So x equal log 6 by log 222. So instead of log 222, we can write 3 log 6. So here log 6, here log 6 gets cancelled. So x equal to 1 by 3. This and this value is 0 0.33. This is the x value. Here, without using any calculator, we find the log value of 222. If you enjoyed this mathematical exploration, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting math content. If you like this video, please like and give your valuable comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching.